So hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Nayan with us. Nayan, would you like to introduce yourself once? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, I'm Nandi. Uh, I'm currently uh, working as a software development engineer trainee at Misho. Uh, before that, I have worked as an intern at Tally Solutions, uh, where I worked upon Tally Prime software. And yeah, that's my introduction. Hmm, nice man. Nice. So, like you mentioned, he has cracked Misho and we'll be getting to know his journey to cracking Misho, the interview experience, the preparation behind it, and everything in between. So, Nayan, would you like to start us off with your interview experience at Misho? Like, how many rounds were there? What all happened? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so, basically, uh, Misho uh, opened an uh, open campus recruitment uh, in March uh, of 2025. So, uh, firstly, we have to register to, uh, online on Hacker Earth Hackathon. So, after that, uh, they conducting a screening, a resume shortlisting screening. Um, so, my resume got shortlisted. And then after that, uh, they send the online assessment uh, to shortlisted student. So, in online assessment, they ask three uh, coding questions. So first was uh, medium and the other two one was hard. So in medium question, it was um, an edit based question, uh, which 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 I solved using greedy uh, approach. And second one was basically a graph problem in which we have to uh, like it was a tree, basically tree problem. We have to flatten the tree and apply segment tree on that. And so basically I solved two questions. And the last one I solved was partially. So I uh, actually don't remember the question. And so moving forward, I was shortlisted for the interviews. Um, so my all three interviews were happened in uh, in a day, in like in a single day, all three rounds happened. So the first round was uh, uh, like, it was basically a simple DSA uh, round. So it was of 30 minutes. So they give me a, a greedy uh, DSA problem, which like I solved in within 25 minutes. So the problem was uh, like we have to sort the uh, two arrays and form a logic uh, after sorting that. So yeah, I wrote the pseudo code and yeah, so the like the, the feedback was positive. So uh, so I moved on to the second round. Uh, so they have mentioned that they will ask the LLD uh, question in the second round, but uh, it comes out that they, uh, the question was a DSA only. So they have given uh, three to four functions. So we have to complete uh, those functions and we have to, the, the code should be running. So they give the hacker, hacker rank link. So yeah, so the round went around like uh, one hour, 15 minutes. And yeah, the my code was running and I successfully passed all the test cases. So then again, I got a positive feedback for, from the second round. Uh, so uh, my last round, like uh, it was a um, managerial round in which uh, I was asked about my project uh, internship experience, CS fundamentals and some system design questions. So um, they asked me like one of the my strongest project, uh, which I explained. They asked like in depth questions uh, in from the project section, and and from system design like they asked problem like concurrency, uh, multi threading, and from CS fundamentals uh, they asked like uh, cap theorem and yeah yeah. So this was interview experience. Got it. Got it. All right. Yeah. So the DSA of it was also around medium hard. And like you said, you had questions like greedy uh, trees. And again, you had greedy in the interview. So the round that you were expecting LLD and you got a DSA problem. Do you remember the type of problem that you had gotten that was on Hacker Earth for the uh, yeah. second last? So, yeah. Um, so basically, I, as I told you, it was not an LLD problem, but a DSA problem. So they asked me uh, LRU problem, which was least recently used. So um, basically, I have constructed, I utilized DQ and unordered map to solve the problem. And like I coded the whole problem in one hour and it was successfully like passed all the test cases. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. Cool. All right. 
okay so you know like i can see that they ask pretty good amount of dsa because they've asked lead code hard problem lru cache is also lead code hard right the lru mm-hmm. question and in the oa was also pretty difficult and obviously it is open campus so the competition would also be extremely high so i would like to know more about your preparation ki how did you prepare that you were at that level ki aram se you were able to clear the interview uh, yeah so uh, basically i started coding from first year so i used to solve a lot of problems uh, starting from like i entered the college and started solving uh, problems on code forces uh, code chef so basically uh, yeah so um i started development in my last year so i was like pretty good in dsa so um yeah so uh, from development part i like i studied from um like love babar which he like he uh, i i had took the course of love babar which was on web development so uh, from there i studied web development and also i followed hitesh chaudhary youtube channel yeah, yeah. and for cs fundamentals uh, there is one playlist uh, um, which is taught by lux chaudhary which is on love babar youtube channel um, so i followed the whole playlist dbms and operating system and from for system design i follow shreyans concept and coding uh, youtube channel and like i told like i started coding from first year so um, like basically i had like dsa i started like i'm doing from past 3 years so um i used to get hands on on that yeah nice so you feel do you feel ki dsa ya fir problem solving ka sara you were able to get from code for so coach if ya alag se uh, you also used lead code and you know any dsa sheet ya fir you felt ki cfcc was enough um like i i like started coding on lead code all, as well so basically dsa like dsa part was completed from cf and cc uh, uh, most mostly but uh, like from standard problem like for uh, like uh, binaries binary trees ling list i followed lead code and also stiva sheet as well so like i solved it like within 2 uh, to 3 months so i like did because of like code forces and code chef so it was quite easy for me to hand tackle the dsa technical uh, rounds hmm yeah. right right it wo to ho jata hai na agar cp mein acche ho jao especially jaise at your level you are expert and five star to fir dikkat nahi hoti online assessment jaise ya fir dsa round wale cheezon mein dikkat nahi hoti fir hai na wahan pe thoda aasani ka level ek aane lag jata hai right yes yes yeah he 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 all right bro so we have talked about your preparation we have talked about the indivex friends of misho सो ना फाइनल नोट जो लोग ये वीडियो देख रहे हैं जिनको भी एक अच्छी कंपनी में इंटर्नशिप या एफ टी क्रैक करना है वट एडवाइस वुड यू लाइक टू गिव दम सो फर्स्ट एडवाइस आई वॉन्ट टू गिव लाइक स्टार्ट एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल बिकॉज इट इज क्वाइट हेल्पफुल टू गेट लाइक समर इंटर्न और विंटर इंटर्न बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग समर इंटर्न द कॉम्पिटिशन इज वेरी लेस इफ यू डू समर इंटर्न सो यू यू गेट अ चांस टू गेट एन एफ टी in the month of august and september and also i will like to tell like try to solve one or two uh, problems daily on code forces or code chef for lead code and also try to participate in uh, as much contest and hackathons uh, as possible and yeah so basically start early as soon as possible so this is the best advice i can give mm. right right and even if <clears throat> you i have not started early even if you're uh, starting late the main thing that you need to do is do a lot of problem solving the hands on is the most experience thing right giving contest getting down with the problems you know getting your hands dirty that is where act the actual learning happens right yeah yeah that's correct so like if you are starting um, late the one thing i would say like uh, do dsa only uh, don't jump on cp try to solve standard problems try to follow stiva sheet only and like try to revise cs fundamentals daily and like do one or two projects uh, to add on to your resume so this will uh, this will be the best uh, you can do if you are starting late yeah
it over. Okay, so that's some great advice right there. No, no, no matter what place you're at, it's it's never too late, you know, to be honest. If, given that you do the right things right, and you can do standard problems even if you're in third year, even if you're preparing for switch. Or lead code contests are always good to have a good idea of DSA, right? You can always do lead code contests. So yeah, that's some great advice, you know, that you can definitely follow for cracking a company like Misho. So I think that covers pretty much everything about Nairn's journey to cracking Misho. So if anyone of you have any doubt, I'll give us LinkedIn in the description. You guys can follow him from there. So yeah, thanks a lot, man, for coming on the channel and sharing your interview experience. I hope this helps a lot of students. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.